the most profound problems in psychotherapy are the, the risk-taking, threat-evoking behaviors. People return to domestic abuse situations. They hurt themselves, put themselves under threat. The example that she showed was shoplifting. It is these risky, threat-evoking behaviors that create so many therapeutic dilemmas. It is the risk that our patients, our traumatized patients, put themselves up that exhaust the therapist and that, in fact, you know, lead to harm and death in our patients. So it create an enormous amount of stress. And they have seen gratuitous and uh, repetitious and about a kind of repetition compulsion. It's hard to see what the purpose of these behaviors is, except for secondary gain of some sort. But the secondary gain is the gain. The secondary gain is the attention that is drawn to those behaviors by those behaviors so that at that moment, the self and other exist. And again, if you can't reach that network with what we're doing now, we tend to just be exhausted by it. It's failed treatments. These, these are failed treatments. These are the reason that people go to the hospital. They have to go to the hospital. They have, to, they have electric shock treatments or you know, whatever else they do. It's chemical, you know, restraint. So the cost burden for the therapist, for the, the patient, for our society is huge. Not so much related to mental illness itself, but to this acting out behavior that we have thought was just because they were mentally ill. But now we have to reframe that. Now we have to look at the fact that these are people who are trying to establish a sense that they are, that they exist at all. And that's a very different way of looking at the same set of behaviors. And, and, and as I said, once again, we are at how do we change those networks that have been established that way since birth? How do we change that? And the only way I know is neurofeedback. And to me, that's the significance of this research. On the 16th of August, Ruth will present this research uh, and we'll talk about its implications and ask, uh, ask other people to talk about what they think these uh, results mean for the field of psychotherapy and for treatment of mental illness.